I am a Vermont pediatrician. I composed this poem after a house call at an indigent family's trailer in a snowstorm. Blood, house call on the Canadian border. After three days hard snow, this border town is ominously picturesque. My snow boots break a path to seven-year-old Rodney, who lives in the Charbonneau trailer, completely drifted over on Troy Street. The Alberta Clipper's Arctic blasts across the Canadian border whips my face, whips windows wrapped in plastic, scatters heat like feathers shook loose from geese too lame to migrate. The steel of my stethoscope is a shock on Rodney's chest. His blue-rimmed eyes widen. His breath sucks in and in again. I search for shine in his too heavy eyes. What does Rodney know of radiance? Through my black stethoscope, polar winds search empty caves for blood. I must believe that his heart still pumps the energy of creation. Possibility still suffuses the capillary network of his dreams. But Rodney wears sneakers in the snow and sleeps beside the gas stove that bakes warmth all night to save on fuel oil. He'll grow a few more winters and lose his one-eyed teddy bear. School is canceled, the street muffled by snow until it melts.